So the Bell Foundry on Wheels was an idea we had where we could actually go take our foundry to different places around the country and actually create a memorial on site. So traditionally bells have been cast in a controlled environment inside boundaries where you don't have to deal with the rain, you don't have to deal with the weather elements. So it was really a, a concept born to get the community involved in the casting process as both a learning experience to show people what goes into creating a piece of art and, uh, and also a way to get the community involved in creating a memorial. In 2000, the year 2000, I was on the Bicentennial Commission of the State of Ohio and we went to Verdon Bell and they devised a foundry on the back of a flatbed truck. And we went to 88 counties and we made bells. So for many years I thought, Village of Evendale, they need a tribute to not only veterans, but to the fire and police. Bell will be cast here on the grounds. Then the bell will be hoisted up into the tower forever. Today we're gonna to escort a veterans police and fire memorial tower up to Evendale. To a lot of people, it's just a tower. But to us, if you look at what's on the face of the tower, it tells you to remember. It remembers all those that were fallen as Memorial Day comes up, not only for our veterans, but for the first responders, the police and fire that put their lives daily on the line, just like our veterans do. The event was designed to last two days for the Ohio Bicentennial. That's the amount of time we had to be in this county and then move on to the next county. We have Boy Scouts and Girl Scouts who will pass the ingots one to the other to the gentleman on top who will drop them in the cauldron. The casting process we use on the Bell Foundry on Wheels is a completely different process that was developed specifically for the Bell Foundry on Wheels. So we assembled the molds a couple hours ago, started the furnace, and for the last two hours, it's been melting the metal. We're gonna wait until the metal gets to about 1800 degrees. 1800 degrees is where we're gonna transfer the metal out of the ladle by dumping it into the mold. So the bell will be left to cool overnight. Tomorrow we'll actually remove the bell from the mold. So the guys got here a couple hours ago and they've taken the, uh, taken the flask apart. I think we're ready to uh, have a couple of people come up and take some swings with a sledgehammer and try to get this, uh, this mold opened up for us. Again, I thank you all for coming today to dedicate the tribute tower to the veterans, to the police and the fire personnel that keep this country safe every day. The one thing that we found though that's, that's interesting is the community involvement starts literally from the time we pull into the town to the time we leave. I think everybody was kind of amazed at the process and uh, taught them about it and what we went through to begin this process years ago. They really appreciated it. It's just not steel and iron. It is actually a memorial to those that did give their lives. We want the public to know how important it is to honor those that have served our nation. We've all put the uniform on. We took a pledge that we would protect the United States of America. So it's worth recognizing that sacrifice and giving those folks that honor, dignity, and respect that they earn.